In Richmond Park, a huge royal park and nature reserve in West London, there is this odd avenue of trees. And in central London, there is this, the cheese grater, uh, an odd wedge-shaped tower block. Why build it that shape when you can keep it the same all the way up and about double the amount of space you can rent out? Well, to explain, I have come here. This is the new London model in the NLA galleries at the Building Centre. It is a massive interactive scale model of London showing all sorts of data about the city, including these. These are protected views or sight lines. Back in the 1930s, London started to get what were, for the time, tall buildings, like Unilever House. Now it seems tiny, only a few stories high, but it was enough to start blocking some views of St Paul's Cathedral which was the, the tallest building in the city and had been for centuries. It was only beaten by the post office tower in 1962. There was a public outcry about this, so the local authorities protected certain views of the cathedral and of the Houses of Parliament. That avenue of trees in Richmond Park points straight at St Paul's Cathedral. Even though you can only really see St Paul's through a telescope, you will always be able to see St Paul's through a telescope. From there, there will never be a tall building to block the view. And crucially, no one was allowed to build something behind St Paul's either, because that would spoil the view just as badly. Heck, you can't build anything tall near St Paul's at all, because it would ruin the view from the riverside. The one new chain shopping centre next door to St Paul's is very carefully designed to get around all of these restrictions. Have a look at the Shard, London's tallest building. It is bounded left and right by these protected views, but it sits just outside them. And all that explains the cheese grater's odd shape. The view of St Paul's from Fleet Street had to be protected, and the tower leaning back was enough to satisfy the planning committee. So the question remains, how long can it last? London is going vertical, steadily, as a housing bubble and foreign investment pushes rents and buildings ever higher. In a hundred years, when this model has been replaced by some futuristic hologram, will you still be able to stand in Richmond Park and see St Paul's? Or will money have won out over history?